Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Rodan. And today, as you can see, I'm still continuing my Disney movie marathon, where I'll be talking about the movies, merchandising, theme parks, whatever. Bruh. So, whatever. Just whatever the case, whatever's maybe related to Disney, I guess, any shape or form. So, today, I'll be reviewing the film titled, Yes, it's the remake, and we all know I hate remakes. Anyway, it's the film titled, Yep, Pinocchio, folks. So, I just figured I, I just got to watching this, so it's still fresh in my brain, unfortunately. Yeah, watch on Disney Plus, so yeah. Didn't buy it on DVD or anything, so... And oh boy. It was awful. It was just... Awful. It was so bad, folks. I mean, come on. Yeah, this was by far the worst movie I've seen in 2022. Ugh. This was a regret. God damn it, Mr. Monkey. I mean, time still to tell you. I'm not gonna buy you this crap. Oh, no, come on. I need pretty friend over. And you guys are dancing. Yeah, you guys are dancing. Oh, go away. What is the matter with you two? Oh, come on, Killer Dan. I'm Rick. Yeah, I'm Rick, man. Come on. Uh. Well, of course you're gonna come. Can you see how delightful this movie is? It's so whimsical. I cannot see that. Come on. But you're the one that needs to get his eyes checked, not I. How, I, I don't understand what you're talking about, man. Go find a hobby or something. It just is a classic. It's an instant. But your mother didn't love you enough when you were small? Classic, man. If I enjoyed it, you must enjoy it too, man. Uh, what? Did you sniff a lot of glue when you were in... Middle school, is that what it, it is? Whatever! You're the one that's delusional. I cannot see the fantastic CGI, the wonderful characters. It's lazy filmmaking. This is extremely lazy filmmaking. Man, this has to be one of the best movies ever. This has a very contrived storytelling. And that's not a good sign. I cannot see that. Whatever. Well, yeah. Dialogue is terrible. The music is not good either. I'm gonna, uh, whatever. I'm gonna get them to eat, all right? I am hungry. Some of the special effects need some work. Whatever. This movie felt really padded. What? Whatever you say, man. You don't know what you're talking about. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Too much talking. I need to finish this video up anyway. Eh. No. Same thing with you. Go away. Man, what the hell? Hey, Rocky. Yeah, I'm Rick. Hey, did you see the movie? Did you like it? No, you're not even paying attention to me, are you? No, you're not. You're just ignoring me. Rocky. Hey, dude. Hey, pal. Are you even paying attention, man? Ah, uh, whatever. Leave Rocky alone. Anyway, as always, folks, let's talk about the plot. Even though I kind of feel I don't like I don't need to, because it's pretty much like the original film, except it's stretched for almost two hours. Anyway, whatever. Let's talk about the plot. Whatever. Yeah, remember the storyline of the original film. Remember the storyline, how everything went on. Yeah, that's that's this movie. Yeah, why do I need to really talk about the story? Really, it's, it's the same thing. Except it's stretched out. Yeah, he wants to be a real boy. Fully a real boy, of course. He's not 100% a real boy or whatever and whatnot. So, he goes on an adventure, of course. And this business guy, I guess you would say he's evil, of course. They always make the business guys out the out villains. What's that thing's weird? 
But yeah, of course, there's Jimmy Cricket. He's supposed to be his conscience, of course, trying to help him out and whatnot, trying to teach him what's right. And yes, we do get to see the fairy telling him what the rules are. And one of the things I have to say is that it kind of feels like it's over-explaining a lot of stuff. I mean, okay, you don't have to over-explain a lot of stuff, especially in the beginning. Yeah, especially with the fairy part, it just goes on and on. It over-explains a little too much and whatnot. And yeah, there'll be lots of noise being going on when... Uh, his when the because the 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 father character makes a wish, his wish is granted, and how is it that he's not awakened by all this noise? I don't know. And there was also a narration, of course. Yes, narrating stuff in movies, I do believe is extremely lazy. You know that film is a visual medium, right? What I'm getting at is that show don't tell. Come on. And then he does the whole Deadpool thing, by which, I mean, it kind of breaks the fourth wall. Like, it's supposed to be funny, but... Here, here, here we go! Not funny! Dick and not. Yeah, Pinocchio gets sent to school, and then on, on the way there, there's an actual scene where Pinocchio stares at shit. Literally for a good minute, or two, where this Fox character comes in... And starts talking to him. Oh, that was convenient. He conveniently stare at that shit to show that Fox can look at him. And then conveniently, the Fox character starts talking and talking and talking way too much. They saw Jiminy get quick and find him. And the father character spends a lot of time just trying to look for him. Speaking of convenience, like the villain character, well, one of the, I guess the main villain. Yeah, he gets locked up with his key. Conveniently, gets stuck in there. And he, you know, he grows his nose like he just saw it a moment ago. Just so Jimmy the Cricket can get the keys, and that's convenient. This entire film see, feels like there's lots of conveniences that happen. Folks, and whatnot. I don't think that's a good way to tell the story. We have to have a, a narrator in here, so... Yikes, that's not... It's not a good thing, folks. No, no. Anyway. Yeah, but, uh, before that one bit I just mentioned a moment ago, folks. Yeah, Jiminy Cricket gets stuck in this glass thing, his glass jar, but literally nobody found him right there, which was convenient. But of course, later on, he gets freed from this glass jar in the most convenient way ever when you think about it. Yeah, that's, that's the entire movie. It's very convenient and everything. Just sort the plug and move along. What the hell? Mr. Monkey and your friends over here again. I'm trying to talk about the, how the plot felt really contrived. Very contrived. Oh boy. And now it got worse towards the end. Get out of here, you two. I need to finish up this video. I mean, really. <sighs> anyway. But yeah, the uh, way this entire film is set up is just really poorly done and whatnot. And just no. No, just the way it was set up is just really stupid. Yeah, the father character does not get much focus in the movie. I guess just so this film won't be conveniently over too soon, I guess you can say. That's one thing, of course. I mean, they did add another character here where there was this lady that controls uh, her own puppet. I feel like she was just added there just so this film can conveniently move along. That's how this felt, really. Just that's it overall. But yeah, folks, this was not a well-made movie, of course. And of course, obviously, they just had to make the father figure, you know, there's no wife, no nothing, I guess. He just lives on his own. And whatnot, but I did think that the um, they had to make the business guy, of course, the business guy, they had to make him evil just to have a, a villain, I guess. Oh boy, they always make the villain characters be some sort of corporate uh, business guy, which is stupid in its own way. Why is he bad anyway? I don't know. And that's another thing, it just felt like the entire cast of characters felt really underdeveloped. Everyone, even Pinocchio himself, felt really underdeveloped. This movie is almost two hours. It still felt underdeveloped. Oh, come on, Mr. Monkey. Do you realize these movies, uh, these remakes, are nothing but just uh, cast grabbing movies and that's it? The CGI is very good, as I mentioned earlier. Now, oh, you prick. But anyway, where's your friend? I'll see him. Yeah, there he is. Yeah, hey, hey, get out of here, okay? Leave me be. The uh, dialogue is pretty bad. The acting isn't particularly good. Come on, Tom Hanks, you can do better than this. Give me a break, come here. There you go. Anyway, at the same time, they were trying to make this out to be this big, grand, humongous adventure kind of a thing. 
But I'm just over here thinking to myself just that. I don't like where this is going. Stop! Right. Stop! No. Stop! It's just like they don't care anymore. They keep pumping these movies back to back, back to back. When it comes to remakes, they're just, no. They're never better than the original, like, at all. And just seems like there's no substance, really, like, at all. It becomes this kind of a thing. So, it just seems that they're just making these films because out of nostalgia. Yes, I'm complaining about, about nostalgia again. People who made these movies know that you, you've seen these films when you were much younger. When you were uh, maybe 8, 9, or maybe when you were in your teens. And you just, uh, you just have fond memories of the past. And they're just making money off of that. That's it. And it works. All these make all these movies make it quite a bit of money. So in their eyes, it's like, why stop? People, people go on and see this. They're just, they have no spirit. They have nothing to add. I mean, if you're not just trying to go and add something new and tweak it up a little bit, why can't you just make a sequel instead? Just revamping the whole thing just seems totally unnecessary. You can just do a sequel instead. Or a spinoff. Or a prequel. I don't know, something in lines of that. But... No, let's just remake something that that's popular. They could have just done something good instead. They could have just done something else. That would have been better. But no, no, no. They did this instead. They could have done something better. You blew it! The voice acting in this movie is not very good either, really. So, yeah, a lot of stuff is trying to build up to something. But the way it's constructed doesn't make a whole lot of sense, really, whatsoever. And the way that story's set up, it just, it does no, there's no vision, really. There's no soul, like, at all. It felt soulless. It, like, nothing means nothing at all. Nothing. It felt soulless. It just felt like, it just directly copied and pasted. Yeah, copy and paste. And that's it. So, it felt incredibly lazy all around, folks. And, yeah, it just seemed like they were just doing this just out of money. That's it. I mean, don't get me wrong. Yes, I know this is a business. I, I, I get that. And that's fine. But if money's the only motivation to make movies, but there's no art, really. Like, whatsoever. So, ultimately, folks, it, yes, as if it's quite obvious enough, it's lackluster. Very, very lackluster. The music isn't very good. I don't remember anything about the music, like, at all. So, I don't care about other characters, really. Like, whatsoever. I know the, they were trying to do something with a relationship between the father father and the son, I guess you can say, but it just felt stupid, no, really stupid. Yeah, stuff like this I keep saying again and again and again. It's why I don't like remakes. Well, a part of the reason anyway, so yeah. This movie is an insult to the original film. Do they, did they even understand what made the original film so good to begin with? I doubt it. I felt embarrassed for them when this was made and I regret it I really regret it and yes of course he's, yeah it does suffer from one of the major problems when it, when it was the Disney re live action remakes it feels padded like I was saying earlier it's basically simple it's basically the film but stretched out a lot of these films that you know they adapt from animation to live action like Beauty and Beast, for instance, or Dumbo, or Cinderella. And yeah, these films had relatively simple premises, which is fine, but they don't work for movies that are like two hours or close to two hours. So, of course, you're going to add a few things here and there just to stretch it. And it, and it feels like that. It, you can really tell. No, don't do that. All the resources that went into the production of this film could have been used for a different movie completely. But no, okay, let's just waste money and time uh, on this garbage. Just just to make money off of nostalgia. Again, that's... Okay, I'm repeating myself here. That's basically what this is, really. Hey, Disney, why don't you just do something more new, like experimenting with superhero stuff, like being inspired by the Japanese superhero and hero stuff, like in Japan? You know, since that's popular nowadays, I guess. All right, let me clear things up for a moment here, okay? Before I just, just give it my final rating and just end the video. Just want to say this quick little tidbit here. Um, and um, I'm not the one to say that that Hollywood and Disney in general, I guess you you can say, 
I'm not trying to say they ran out of ideas, though a lot of people did say, yeah, there's an argument to be said from a lot of people that Disney has ran out of ideas on the Hollywood system as a whole. I'm not here to say that, okay? I disagree with that notion. Or oh, they just ran out of ideas. Do something new. I mean, yes, I want them to do something new. Do want them to do that. But it's not because I believe they ran out of ideas. But rather, yes, they have some ideas. They have some ideas they could work on. They just don't want to risk it. Because as I mentioned before, uh, it, making movies is like gambling. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. But there might be a decent chance that you might lose. So they want to stick to what's familiar. So they would, you know, not really risk that much, really, like, at all. Because they know if they risk too much, it may not succeed. I mean, yes, at times it does pay off. Sometimes trying something new does pay off. But not always. But a good chunk of time, like, like it doesn't really. Like, at all. But anyway, that's what, I mean, I could talk about that more, really. But I think this video's gone long enough. There's still uh, quite a lot of things I want to bring up, but... I don't, I, don't, I don't want to spoil the territory, really. Like, at all. I rarely do that. But anyway, I'll give this film a Novaval rating of a 4.6 out of 10. It's a 4.6 out of 10 for me. So, of course... As usual, thanks for watching, and take care. Until next time, see ya, oh yeah, later. Man.